Another one in about 15 days or so. <clears throat> uh, possibly we'll see what. So everyone is invited back, and uh, we'll I'm sure we'll probably play either all rounds together, which will be like an hour and a half of music. First and second round will be first half, with little intermission, and then this will be play, played again um, as a second uh, second half. Or we'll, we'll figure out, but she needs another couple of runs. When, <clears throat> once you prepare your program, especially for serious competition, at a certain point it has to live on stage constantly. So one time isn't enough, so you have to keep playing it, keep playing it. And the performer gets adjusted, gets more comfortable. So what you're doing today, you're helping a list of her preparations. So it's a big contribution. So the Greek concerto is in three moments. We are not doing the first. We're not doing the second. We're going to go right to the last moment, which starts with a difficult run. We could do all three. We could do all three. So we'll, we'll, we'll play the third moment, and then if the audience would like to hear something else, we can add something. We have one and a half of solo music. <laughs> You heard for only 40 minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. If Trans Siberian Orchestra is playing so so, don't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs>
orchestra was wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What incredible music! It is such a beautiful concerto, mm -hmm. and the second and the second and third movement are spectacular. Everybody usually plays the first movement, but it is so exciting to hear to hear. Yeah, the, the third movement is good. Yeah. So uh, I mean, we don't know because they randomly will pick probably one of the past movements. So you have to get the <clears throat> those runs and then. Did Alyssa play the third movement with an orchestra or just she, the first movement? No, she just Cuba. played in New Orleans complete concerto. Ah, you played the complete concerto. Mm -hmm. ah, this is why it's so exciting. New Orleans. Uh, about what, a couple of months Two ago? Two months ago? Yeah. Was it New Orleans Symphony? Yeah, not New Orleans Symphony, with the New Orleans Civic Orchestra. Civic Orchestra. Ah. So, ah. as a winner of concerto competition for the ah. New Orleans Piano Institute. Ah. So How long is the whole concerto? Like is it 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. About 30. Mm -hmm. and maybe it all depends. Maybe Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe first and second for a quarter. Elena, you, you well, I mean, we can play. What is it? When you were 11 years old, you played with the New Orleans. Uh, I was 12. Huh? I played with New Orleans Symphony when no. I was 12 years old. 12. 12 years old. Yeah. And, that's and then 14. Was. I played Greek with them at 14, and I played Mendelssohn. Where did you play? Where did you play there? G minor, Mendelssohn. At 12, Mendelsohn. and Greek. And that's for Susan Starr. Uh, Susan Starr called me when I was 14 playing Greek in Chicago. Oh, the Greek. I played the whole thing. At the 14, but at 12 she played Mendelssohn. Mendelssohn. G minor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, <laughs> that's right. So, I mean, um, if, if, you, if you want to listen a little bit more, because we can stay for another uh, an hour for her, but um, she could play if you want to. Uh, she could have played, actually, which we have to run uh, as many as possible time times as possible is her first round, which is 20 minutes. Maybe another day. I know that these kids have school. <laughs> yeah, and, I, I, and uh, they have school and... Uh, they have school on Saturday. <laughs> 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 yeah. What kind of school is that? <laughs> Night school. <laughs> yeah, but you know, whoever wants to stay, if you have to go, yeah, but it's it's about it's 18 and a half minutes of music. That's the first round she will be playing um, uh, there. That's guaranteed she's going to play it. So, and that includes Bach, Prude, and Fugue, um, and F minor, <coughs> followed by R minor of Etude and C, C minor, Opus 39, and then an interesting transcription by a living uh, Russian composer, Rodion Shedrin. He wrote, actually, it's not his transcription, but his music, he wrote uh, ballet Anna Karenina, and um, a Russian pianist, uh, Mikhail Pletnyov, uh, did the transcription of uh, a scene. It's the first one, it's a prologue, kind of waiting in suspense. And this, after that, it's a short horse racing, so it's kind of driven. So she could play that, but it depends on who can stay or if you're fully satisfied, we can, uh, we can end right there. She can just play for maybe for... He would like to listen. Not only. So you're not forced, you don't have to be polite and just say, well, I'm staying here because I'm stuck. So, <clears throat> but... That's that's a bonus. So, how about you just stretch for like a minute, and if you decide to come back, we will be here. It's it's fabulous. It's amazing. Yeah. She's very special. Yeah.